Who do you think you are? Who are you in God's eyes? It says in Genesis 1, verses 26 and 27, Then God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the heavens, and over the livestock, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Looking at this passage, we learn that God made Eve out of Adam's flesh and bone. She was that final piece of creation made in the image of God, designed to serve as a helper to Adam. Eve was created second as an opposite power to Adam. As the first woman to have ever lived on earth, she carried out nurturing duties of wife and mother, and she was to partner with Adam to tend the Garden of Eden and fulfill God's purpose to fill the earth. It all started good with Eve. Imagine being in a perfect place that ever existed. God created them to live in harmony with Him. Until Eve, the mother of all living, was deceived by the serpent and disobeyed God by eating the fruit God commanded them not to eat. Wives like me tend to worry, overthink, and lose hope every time we look at the world we live in. We end up feeling insecure, and we sometimes let our failures and struggles define us. We look at the other side of the fence and say, that looks better than what I have. I have to have it. We covet. We say, I'm just a regular person trying to get by in life. We forget who we are in Christ. We lose that concept in the Garden of Eden. We forget to live in harmony with God. But would you believe me if I told you that we are not ordinary? God calls us His children. The Bible says that all who receive Jesus, who believe in His name, has been given the right to become children of God. God is a father to us. We are His sons and daughters, a child of God. That is who we are. And as His children, He will never leave us nor forsake us. We have the most valuable possession in our lives because there is wholeness in Him. Material things will never satisfy us. They only leave us wanting for more. And the enemy wants us to think that we are powerless and we must not believe this lie. Jesus said in Luke 10, 19, I have given you authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall hurt you. Remember that you and I are created after God's image. You are a beloved child of God, and this is your identity. As sons and daughters of the King, let us walk in the light of the Word and hold firmly to our eternal crown and remember who we are in Christ. Have a great day.